Just let me know when you're... Go. Oh, go? Oh, great. <laughs> Hi, friends. It's uh, Jeff Neitzel here. We're here at beautiful, sunny Fripp Island, South Carolina at Ross Greenberg's residence. He doesn't know we're filming, but, you know, maybe we'll send him a copy and he'll be flattered that we did. Anyway, we're installing some insole roll uh, silver screen solar shades. We have one up on the window over here. You can black on one side and silver to the back to reflect out as much heat as possible. The black color gives you better visual clarity through the shade. And what now we're going to do is take you through the installation process. It comes with a set of brackets, and you notice up at the top you really can't see any of the brackets. It have an aluminum fascia cover over the top, which hides the roller shade while it's up. It comes with two standard brackets. One is for the idle side that has a little hook catch over there to keep the shade in place, and the other is just a post. The post goes on the side where the clutch is, and right now I'm facing the shade that clutch is on my right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one over on the right, and I know the other one goes on the left. Relatively simple installation, just a couple of screws on each bracket. Hold it up into position. Now we're using a number six screw, which really doesn't require any pre-drilling. shoes so we took them off we honored your sign Ross and then contestant number two goes up the same way all right once you have the brackets in place make sure that that gate is open so it will receive the shade. You want to make sure when you're installing these, the cords come straight out. You can see there's lots of little places to go. You can get it in crooked. Just want to make sure that that cord's straight out and that uh, groove is pointing down. Now at this point, you just kind of feel your way in. Give it a good push towards the wall, lift it over, press that little nub in the cradle, and basically that's all there is to putting your shade up. Now hopefully they did a good job at the factory like they did before, oops, maybe not. We might have to make an adjustment on that bead, because when this cord stop or the bead stop goes up there the shade should be in the fully up position. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop her down. Two ways to do this, we can either just flop it over the top or you can actually take it down out of the bracket and hand roll it. So that will be tightened up a little bit. Looks like that went just a little bit far so we're going to have to change that bead the position of that bead. But anyway, the shade is installed. And now it does come with a fascia cover that just snaps on to the brackets. Actually, there's a small groove or a little lip on that edge there that just rests over the top and then you push it down in the front. There is a notch out for where the uh, cords do come. And it's just as simple as just resting it up on top of the brackets and giving it a push in place. But as soon as we push it in place, we're not going to be able to adjust our bead as well. So we're going to leave that off. For, but that's all for now. <laughs> 